Well, Nevada has some of the highest rates of kidney disease in the nation. That's according to the United Health Foundation. But now a new device that was just cleared by the FDA could change that statistic. Alyssa Bethencourt joins us now live in the studio. And Alyssa, all people would need to get tested for kidney disease is just their smartphone. Yeah, Justin, so this is a pretty interesting device. It's called Minute Full Kidney, and it's the first test to ever receive FDA clearance across all iOS and Android devices. Currently, an ACR test is recommended for people at risk of developing chronic kidney disease, and up until now, that test could only be done by a medical practitioner. Many doctors believe because of that, roughly 80% of at-risk patients would fail to complete their annual test. That's dangerous because CKD is often often referred to as the silent killer because it doesn't show symptoms until the very late stages where treatment would then require dialysis or a kidney transplant. So you're probably wondering, how does this device work? Well, people can use their smartphone camera to do a urine test that identifies a specific protein in the urine called albumin. That is the standard of care for detecting early signs of chronic kidney disease. Really, if you have a smartphone and you can text or you can take a picture, you now can get real good checks on your health. Um, 75 million Americans at risk. That's a really big number. It's one in three. So there's three of us on this call. One of us might be at risk for kidney disease and one in seven have kidney disease and don't know it. Right, so there's still some questions about how the rollout of this device would work, especially since it's so new. Right now, they're recommending people contact their health care providers if they're interested. But all in all, the company believes this technology will really help Americans across all socioeconomic levels in preventing CKD. They also believe this will lower the rates of dialysis and reduce overall health care cost. For now, reporting live in studio, I'm Melissa Bethencourt.